Ben, Aaron, welcome back to Alpine. An absolute slugfest between these teams. Two weeks in a row, actually, of course, Fort Stockton edging out Alpine on a last-second touchdown last week. The reverse happened this week. Alpine was down 14-0 at halftime. They were, com frankly, they were getting outplayed, did not get any yards on offense, and those two Fort Stockton touchdowns really just came from you know, long drives, although one did come off a turnover. But Fort Stockton really was dominating this first half. To me, the big change of this game came, I don't know if it was Coach Fellow's decision, the offensive staff's decision, it seemed like they opened up the offense a lot more, throwing down the field, allowing Jaden Canaba to run around. That kid is fast. <laughs> he is really fast. Um, sweeps up the middle. He even had um, a fumble touchdown, basically, off a bad exchange with the running back. But really, the second half story was Jaden Jaden Canaba and the fighting Bucks, not to play on words, but they just kept fighting, showed incredible resolve, and that was the story of the second half. Fort Stockton getting no points, and the fighting Bucks getting all that they needed to barely edge out Fort Stockton. Now, of course, they have Wink coming up next week, and that's been a successful team so far the beginning of this season. We'll see how the fighting Bucks fare against the Wildcats. That's going to do it for me and Alpine, guys. Back to you.